if the topic of this video didn't make it clear, I am going to be talking about a very sensitive subject about racism, sexism, and just dealing with an all in all asshole uh, when I was in college. Um, do not use this as an excuse to be racist, sexist, or homophobic. Just because someone else was an asshole doesn't give you the right to be an asshole. But this happened to me in my college years, and I, I tell everyone that this happens, but some people uh, still don't know the story, so I'm making this video so I don't have to constantly retell it. I took college to become a game designer, a graphic designer, and probably an illustrator. I am currently finishing up my last semester in my game development class, uh, but before that I had to take a coding class. And in that coding class, I had a African American teacher who came straight from Kenya, as he taught us, and he was the most sexist and racist teacher I have ever seen that after the end of the semester, everyone in my class who was a mixed diversity of white, Mexican, and black got up, went to the dean, and demanded him to be fired. I did not remember this man's name. I do not remember anyone else's name in the class. All I know is what happened was I was doing well in his class and he called me a white devil. I am mostly Hispanic, mostly from Spain and Puerto Rico. I don't know if you count Puerto Rico as Hispanic. Uh, my family does, but again, I'm not saying that's fact. I'm just saying they do. So, I took his class, and I, who struggle in classes already, uh, decided to sit up front so I can hear him clearly and I can see what he's writing. He put me in the back, and he told me, oh well, you just need to study harder then. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe this man already had a seating system in place. And I just fucked with it. During the class, uh, he would make remarks as computers are like pantries. Uh, they can only have what in them what you put in them, as he says. Which confused the fuck out of everyone in the classroom. They're like, that doesn't make sense. They're like, yes, a computer can only do what you program it to do. It can't solve a math problem if you did not put the formula to solve the math problem in it. Um, but he was like, it's like a pantry. Women should know that, right? And I was like, holy fucking shit, did this person just say like women should know what pantries are? Um, and there, there was a few female pe uh, people in my class. I, I don't know how else to phrase that. There were female students in the classroom, and um, he would constantly accuse them as being lazy, like women are, um, because they would have their hands on their head and just be like, you know, writing stuff down. Like, you ever just put your, your head on your hand and just write? They've been doing that, and he'll call them lazy. Sorry, I was getting a drink. Um, and he would call out every other woman in the class. And, like I said, he gave very confusing um, descriptions that no one in the class knows what he was talking about. Uh, he called on a woman, and he asked, oh, uh, why can't a computer do something? That's what he said. Not like, why can't a computer not do a formula? It was like, why can't a computer do something? And she was like, 
I don't know what you mean. I, I have no idea. You're not making sense. And he goes, Ugh! You're being lazy. And then he'll call on another black guy, a black male. The black male would give the exact same answer. And it's like, ah, let me tell you. Not like, ugh, you also being lazy, or ugh. Just, I'll tell you. And already, we're like, uh, we're getting like a little bad vibe about this guy. Now, I have Asperger's and autism. I try my hardest to pass the class. And with his accent, it was a little hard for me to understand what he's saying, but I didn't want to be rude. I raise my hand and be like, um, so I'm having a hard time hearing you. Do you mind repeating what you just said? He's like, you're not trying hard enough. You're being lazy. That was his main excuse for everyone he didn't like. You're being lazy. So, you know, he didn't tell me, whatever. I had to spend nights looking it up by myself. I had to use key phrases he said during the class and be like, okay, he said something about this. I better look this up. Um, so midterm came. He gave us a test with 10 questions. And just like his actual lectures, they were confusing as fuck. But I just had to remember everything he said. I, I didn't understand it. It didn't make sense to me. I just had to remember what he said and quote him on it. So, I handed my midterm, um, and then, you know, he graded it, I came back to class, and he gave me an F. Now, you're probably like, well, you know, Dots, Chris, uh, uh, you didn't uh, do it right. When I looked at someone else's paper, they had an A, and they had the exact same answers as me. The only difference was it was the same black guy who he called upon that, you know, he gave a different answer to um, him not understanding than what the woman gave. You know, like when the girl said, like, oh, I don't understand it, uh, he was like, no, you're lazy. And when the black guy was like, I don't understand it, he was like, oh, I'll tell you. Um, him and I had the same answers, and even he was like, no, that's fucked up. You have the same answers as me. Uh, why did he fail you? So we both went up to him and were like, we have the same answers. Why did you fail me and pass him? And he's like, oh, well, that's not a discussion to talk about right now. I'm like, yes, it is. I have the same answers. I have the same questions. Why is my uh, why is my paper wrong and his is right? Motherfucker looked at me dead in the eye, and because because you are a white devil, I'm one hundred percent sure you cheated. And there was like there was no way to cheat on the test. Everyone was sitting far away from each other. There was no way to talk to each other without anyone knowing. And he accused me as cheating and then called me a white devil. Well, when that happens, um, the black guy said, give him the same glade because that's unexcusable. And, like, it, it's been ten minutes of him saying he did not cheat he has the same answers as me. Give him the same grade. And he reluctantly gave me a 95 when he gave the same guy a 100. So when we left, he's like, listen, I'm going to the dean. This is unacceptable. You can come with me and help plead your case. Or, you know, if he does that again, let me know. Because I don't like this man. So, the rest of the semester goes by. And luckily, there wasn't enough, there wasn't a lot of work to do. And then, in the finals, we had another test. This time, the man made me sit outside of the classroom. 
Everyone else got to sit inside. I had to sit outside and take the test. And I I hear them through the doorway going, why why does why does Chris have to sit outside? What did Chris do? He goes, because he is a white devil. At that point, everyone got up and everyone left the class. I mean, we all just got there and everyone just left. And they're like, Chris, come on, we're going to the Dean. So you have all your students of mixed races getting up and telling the Dean, this man is a racist, sexist asshole. And I, I'm surprised someone like that even became a professor. It, it, it's just... Like... I'm sorry, I'm getting a little choked up. But it's fucking bullshit. Because there was no reason for him to try to fail me. Because, again, I had the same answers as the one guy... And he constantly called women lazy and tell them, like, oh, you should know what a pantry is. Ha, ha, ha. And we're like, no, don't say shit like that. But whatever. We all got up. We all went to the dean. And we all told him what happened. Uh, he tried to face, fail someone for being, quote, unquote, white. He constantly calls women lazy and tells them that they should know what a pantry is. And we don't want a professor like that. I don't know if this man was removed from campus. I hope he was removed because that... I don't care if he's black, white, Hispanic, or Asian. That behavior is unacceptable. And I told, and I told you at the beginning of the video... I am heavily Hispanic. But he called me white devil because my skin was lighter than anyone else in the classroom. And now I'm getting, out of, like, in my final uh, semester, I'm getting people like, oh, this professor is so hard. What'd he do? He gave me extra homework. You have no idea what it's like to be mistreated by a professor. And I'm just like, you have no idea what the, the hell I've been through. I had a professor who tried to fail me for being white. And I'm not white. I'm Hispanic. So that's the whole story behind my teacher called me a white devil. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, do not use this to justify being an asshole. There's assholes in the world. They think they're superior than people. They're not. They're beneath the people they think they're superior than. But no one should go into a class and be like, you fail because you're white, you pass because you're black. Or you pass because you're white and you fail because you're black. It's a fucking definition of racism. So... That's the whole racist white devil teacher story. I, I don't know how to end it.